Hello, I'm Dr. Bradley Almquist, Professor of Music and Director of Choral Activities at Murray State University in Murray, Kentucky. In this set of videos, we're going to explore different vocal or choral warm-up exercises used to teach some of the behaviors necessary for good singing. These videos may be watched several times in order for you to practice with them. In addition, I will be providing um, the exercises in a downloadable worksheet so that you can continue them. To begin with, we need to understand that our body is our instrument, not just the voice. Voice teachers frequently use terms such as support or alignment or even phrases such as you need to get your body under your voice or under the sound. All of this involves a number of skills and behaviors that we can learn. The first is understanding just a little bit of the anatomy and how that relates to posture. You have bones that run across the top of your shoulders. These bones, including the clavicle, uh, do not allow your lungs to expand upward. Even if you raise your shoulders, your lungs are not going to necessarily expand all that much upward. You also have ribs that go around your chest connecting to your sternum or to your breastbone. There are muscles that connect and hold these ribs in place and they're called your intercostal muscles. And yes, they can expand somewhat. And as you practice more and more, they will stretch and expand, increasing the size of your chest capacity and cavity. However, the place where you have no bones, only soft tissue is beneath your lungs down in your abdominal area. Now, you have a muscle that cuts through the body from front to back, like this, and that muscle is called your diaphragm. The diaphragm separates your abdomen from your chest cavity, and it is extremely important for singing. It is, it is a, a slightly inverted dome-shaped uh, position when your lungs are empty. And as you take a breath, it moves down and pushes your abdominal organs, such as your stomach, liver, intestines, and so on, out of the way. Often you will see in a singer a slight expansion forward in the lower abdomen as the lungs expand down, pushing against the diaphragm, which then pushes against all of those other organs. You can feel that sensation of this abdominal expansion either by sitting in a chair or leaning forward and then breathing deeply in. Let's try that for just a second. So if you sit in a chair and you lean forward so that your stomach presses against your thighs, when you inhale deeply, you will feel your abdomen push out against your thighs. Now that we've discovered how all of that works, let's begin to get our bodies ready to breathe like a singer. We will begin at the bottom with our feet. We want to feel well balanced, not tipping forward or tipping backward or to the side, but rather strong as we stand. So our feet should be roughly hip width apart. We do not want to stand with our heels together that does not give us a good sense of balance or strength. Our knees should be slightly bent or at the very least not locked back. Let's see if we can find that spot. Go ahead and lock your knees. Now release them. Now bend just a little bit. Whoops, that's too much. So once again, lock your knees, release them. You should feel just a little sense of balance in your feet, a little bit more of an even distribution of your weight, slightly forward toward your toes, as well as no tension in your knees. Be careful not to put all of your weight on your heels. That's that backward sort of tip. Work for a good, even distribution of your weight in your feet. Now we need to think about our torsos. I use a couple of cue words called lengthen and widen to help remind me of the position for my torso for the most efficient breath work as a singer. I want to feel my torso lengthen to give plenty of room in the abdomen area for the lungs to expand down. To get that sensation, 
I will put my index fingers just behind my ears and gently lift up. Your head should lift just a tiny bit with your spine following. I like to lift here rather than adjust my torso first. This way I am fully aligned without having to adjust absolutely everything as we go. Let's do the game, that again. Slouch. Now gently come up, leading from the very top of your head. Do you feel your spine lengthen? It should follow your head up. As you do this, you will also notice that your rib cage rises ever so slightly as well. And in doing so, the bottom of the ribs flare out or expand slightly. All of this is excellent for singer posture. Let's review that again. Slouch, come up, feel your spine lengthen, following your head, feel your rib cage lift slightly, and the bottom of the rib cage expand. Excellent. Now, what about your head? Okay, simply let it rest on your spine. Right underneath your ears here, there are two little rockers that your head rests on your spine, and just let it absolutely simply rest right there. Do you feel it when you, when you lift here? Do you feel it moves slightly up and back with your chin down when you lengthen from the top of your head? That is the place we want it to be, simply resting on your spine. No jaw jutting forward, no head jutting forward, simply in alignment with your spine. Now, with this long posture, take a slow breath of air in through your nose. Ready? Inhale. And blow it out through your mouth. Excellent. One last thought about this posture. If you remember, I said my cue words are lengthen and widen. We have discovered how the lengthening works, now for the widening. Imagine that you are going to hug a tree. Let's make it a pretty big tree, okay? Now, let your elbows feel as though they're just a little bit heavy. That will remind you not to raise your shoulders. Now, simply feel how wide you are across your shoulders on the front as well as the back. Now once again, lengthen, widen, excellent. Now take a slow deep breath in through your nose and blow it out through your mouth. If you have some problems inhaling through your nose alone, then go ahead and inhale through your nose and your mouth at the same time. Ready? Inhale and blow it out. Once more, inhale, and blow it out. Good. Do you feel that slight expansion underneath your ribs as your lungs move downward against the diaphragm? And then that pushes down against your stomach, your liver, and other internal abdominal organs? Excellent. Blow it slowly back out one more time. Ready, and inhale, and blow it out. Let's just do that again, and feel that expansion. Inhale, down, and blow it out. Excellent. Now we're going to inhale while still hugging that big tree for four counts in, and then we're going to exhale for six counts out. Ready? Very quickly check your posture. Feet, knees, lengthen, widen, head is resting. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, and blow it all out. Very good work. Let's do that again. Make sure that you are feeling long and wide in your torso and your knees aren't locked. Ready? 
Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Terrific. You, you may put your arms down now at your side, but again, stay very long and very wide with that slightly length or widened feeling across your chest and your back. This time we're going to inhale for four counts and we're going to exhale for eight counts on a F or an F sound. Ready? Make sure, quickly check your posture. Feet, knees, lengthen, widen, head, and we're going to exhale first. So we start empty. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Did you make it all the way? Probably not quite. Let's try it one more time. Ready? And exhale. Inhale. Suspend for just a second. And out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now, make sure that you gradually let that air out and that you make that air last for the full eight counts. Did you make it all the way? Let's do it one more time. Ready? Empty. Inhale, two, three, four. And blow it all out. Terrific. Now, shake out all those muscles. We want to be careful to avoid any kind of a set or a freeze in your posture or your body. We want to keep everything fluid. Good. Now we're going to inhale for two counts, and this time we're going to exhale on an SH sound for eight counts. Again, check your posture. Feet, knees, lengthen, widen, head. Exhale. Inhale. One, two. Bravo, let's do it one more time. In fact, we're gonna do four of these in a row, okay? We should try to use up all the air if we possibly can. If we don't have enough air, we'll just go ahead and stop and then we'll turn it right back around again. Okay, now be careful. Check your posture. Quick check, feet, knees, lengthen, widen, head, and exhale. Inhale, one, out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release. Terrific. Now we have a foundation for this singing breath established. Always remember to begin with a, part, with a posture check. Feet, knees, torso, lengthen and widen, and head rest on your spine. To close out, we're gonna do a quick inhale for one count and an exhale for eight counts back on our F. We're going to do it about three times, okay? Posture check. Empty, in. In, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and blow it all away. Excellent work. Thank you so much for watching, participating, and beginning to work on our support and using our body as part of our vocal instrument.